We were renting on Central Avenue. You know, remember Ernie Collier, the jewel tea guy? We rented a house from him, and he was always bucking me. He said, yo, you're great, to, but you it's like, when I get your check, it's great, and I can really put it to work, but you know, for you, it's like, put that down the toilet. I said, well, yeah. He said, well, you had to borrow some money from somebody, and I, and I tried my brother, and he wouldn't, didn't have it. Well, what the buzz was in the community was that this is, when you were going to take a mortgage out on your on your first home or a home, this is where you came. And they were always supportive of the causes that I was involved in. At that time, I was involved with our Little League program, and they were one of our sponsors. Savings and uh, Savings Loan was one of our sponsors. And, uh, you know, they were, it was, has, has a, a, a small town community feel to it, um, a good neighbor policy, and um, everybody treated you well. The open door policy was the thing that always appealed to me. I could walk into the old building anytime I wanted to and talk to, as long as they weren't already in the meeting, talk to whoever I wanted to. Uh, Bob would see me coming in or Oren would see me coming in and they'd have a way for you. And you know, where do you go and get that kind of treatment, that, that friendly, that's the service. I always feel that they appreciate me as a customer, that they've always got time for me, and that's what I want. I'm gonna take my business where it's going to be appreciated. And you and this company have always appreciated me, and that's why I, I'm still here. Approximately 27 years ago, my husband and I created a partnership with another insurance agent and we found the need to secure financing to have the agency grow, hopefully grow. Um, down the road we bought that partner out and maintain um, sole ownership and that's where Marsh Books and Bank came in. They offer us um, a very sincere interest in the success of Marshfield Insurance. Uh, I, we, we have never had any problems with whatever need we have. And I think it's, it's also the long-term relationship and trust that we have in their institution. Certainly we're grateful that they allowed us to purchase their previous location. We did not feel that there was any way we could build a building. And our friend Bill Hiding, who at that time was on the board, approached us and said, I've got your fix for you. And we were elated. We were absolutely elated because we were in a small building. We had purchased the house next door, put two people in there. We were growing, busting at the same time. So this was a wonderful fix for us. We're very grateful for that. My grandpa started the business in 1912. He was T.D. Hefko and he was mayor of Marshfield for three terms. At this point, there's two generations involved. My son is the fourth generation in the business. We are probably the only flower shop in the entire world that is located in a city hall building. I remember when I was a kid going into the Marshfield Savings Bank on Main Street with my parents. And then when I was like a teenager, I would go in and we would take care of their plants, do things with transplanting and everything. I remember very well, really friendly people there. And we're very comfortable with the people that we deal with over there. I remember when Todd first came into the bank when they were over in West 5th Street and both Chuck and I were just really impressed with him from the first time we met him because he's just such a genuine person. The service is great. Well, number one, online banking. You know, we can go online see if someone calls and said, hey, I didn't get our check, and I can go online and say, well, it cleared. It's a lot easier for us to keep track of things by going online. And we can transfer money from one account to the other, and it's instant. They do a lot of business with us over the year with funerals and birthdays and uh, 
holiday flowers and everything, and they're always very easy to deal with. Yeah, they seem to like flowers, and we know that the best people love flowers. <laughs>